Does anybody else agree with me here that it's very foolish of both Disney, Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy, and let's not forget about Bob Iger to embrace the next Star Wars movie for the first time, by the way, since 2019, ending things off with the story of Rey, as they like to call it, Rey Skywalker, and the first Star Wars movie now is for 2026 featuring Rey once again, a character that is universally rejected and really just not tolerated by the majority of the fan base. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So the one thing about Daisy Ridley is that she is really caught up with all of this drama based on what the director said. She's also known as Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy, by the way, and what she said about the overall direction of Star Wars and how it's about time a woman takes charge here when it comes to the franchise. Now, there's a lot more at stake here, and we talked about this before. She has gone on stage saying that when it comes to her overall vision of movie making and what she actually wants to do with the film industry is by making men feel uncomfortable, and that is something that she actually gravitates toward. Now, what's interesting about this has a lot to do with Daisy Ridley's perspective once again about the pushback and the fan backlash over Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy's comments about her vision of Star Wars, about her overall vision, generally speaking, when it comes to herself as a director and as a creator, and if you even want to call her a creator, by the way. But what's interesting about this has a lot to do with what's been going on with this New Jedi Order film. Now, with Daisy Ridley recently caught in the middle of the Ray movie drama, one major development has to do with her response yet again with her thoughts about the fan backlash against Charmaine Obey Chinoy, the director of this movie. Now, Daisy Ridley de delivered the following. Well, as a woman who dealt with something similar when I was working on the sequels, I can absolutely connect with Charmaine and what she is about to deal with for the years to come as we put this film together. Fandom culture is very toxic. I have been called many names, and so has my character, such as a Mary Sue, which again, I never fully understood the meaning of that. I assume it's something offensive or some offensive way of stating that one is against a powerful female character, perhaps. But I think fans just get way too invested in these stories, and just like Kathy reassured me, and so did Charmaine, that we can't take them seriously because it's just a small portion of our audience that tries to bring you down. It's quite sad, actually. I mean, I am eternally grateful for what both J.J. Abrams, Ryan Johnson, and Kathy have provided me over the years, and I couldn't thank Charmaine and Steven anymore, because they are just the best. But when you are dealing with a toxic fandom that has no clue what they are talking about, it can be very difficult sometimes. I pray for a time in this world where fans of this franchise and they just let go already and just accept the stories that come to them. I think Charmaine is going to make everyone feel upset that they ever even doubted her in the first place. We are making a great female driven film and I think if fans loved many hit classics that starred women, they will love this one most certainly. It's just a shame that, that we are dealing with this small group of so called fans that are making everyone else feel differently. I think it's a right move to just move on from the Skywalker legacy and to forget the past. We don't necessarily need Luke or Anakin or whoever. Rey Skywalker is the future and it's a great future at that who will create endless tales to come. We are really trying to make this one work out for all of us and Steven is just adding in the final touches to the story right now. Now guys, let me just stop here for one moment about that. Now, we can see that she's over praising Charmaine. Kathleen Kennedy, Stephen Knight, uh, stuff like that, and obviously she's now becoming a little bit more of a shill, so to speak, for Star Wars, right? I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that she literally is getting no work at all coming out of the sequels, coming out of Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker, where things ended. She has really not gotten anything major that would be worthy of a so-called blockbuster. And I would have no doubt in my mind that this is exactly why she's become a little bit more 
I guess you could say, direct with the fans and more sided with Lucasfilm and Disney. By the way, there was a time about a year and a half ago where she was talking against Lucasfilm and Disney about what they did with the Rey character and how mismanaged Kathleen Kennedy was at the time. And now things seem to have, you know, reversed. The tables have turned and it's pretty much seem, you know, it's pretty much quite vivid at this point why she's acting in such a way. She's probably just over thrilled that she has a job now, that most likely Kathleen Kennedy is going to double down on the over usage of Rey once again. Don't be too surprised guys if they you know, want to actually expand on the Rey character in a TV show or anything like that. But moving onwards, the thing about Daisy Ridley right now is that she's obviously defending Charmaine's words and what she said about the Star Wars fans, what she said about her way of filmmaking, and everything on the table for that. Moving on. Now, she goes on to conclude, we are really trying to make this one work out for all of us. Fans need to understand it's not just about me or my character in this story, but how Rey expands the Jedi Order, and it's a great chance for Charmin to embrace equality in the Star Wars film for the first time in a unique way that the public has never seen before that will be respected. Fans of this franchise need to just sit back and accept reality when it involves Charmin's direction of this film. I still stand by her comments and what she has a vision for evolving this brand that Kathleen Kennedy has given her the liberty to take advantage of in a passionate way to truly deliver something transformative that goes well into the future beyond the Skywalkers. Now there you have it again, it's all about diverting from the Skywalkers. Lucasfilm seems to have this obsession with just phasing out the Skywalkers, and you can't deny the fact that the Skywalkers are the bread and butter of Star Wars. I mean, look, I've had my problems with the Ahsoka show, but look at how fans responded to just Anakin showing up in a couple of episodes in the Ahsoka series. That, I think, is the main reason why that show exploded the way that it did when it came to the fan response, and I think at the end of the day as well, a lot of fans just shifted away from that overall story. You do have some defenders of the Ahsoka show, sure, but I think without the usage of cameos like Ezra, Ahsoka, etc., it just would have been very, very flat to the point where it wouldn't have taken off at all. And Rosario Dawson gave that update that season two is really up in the air now. There's no movement on that at all. And that comes in the wake of the ratings really not performing well for the Ahsoka show. So again, we already got a female-centric Star Wars story. That was literally Star Wars Ahsoka, which honestly wasn't so much about Ahsoka in my book. It was really a show about Sabine. That's really what it was all about to me at least. It was another bait and switch, very similar to the Kenobi series, to Boba Fett, to Mandalorian, and lately what they have been doing with everything Star Wars. Everything is a bait and switch. This is exactly what Kathleen Kennedy does in her nature. That's what it's all about. Heck, she even did it in The Force Awakens. Fans thought that Finn was going to be the Jedi, and it ended up being Rey. There you have it. it it's, been on, it's been an ongoing thing since 2015, mind you. So overall, guys, I would like to hear your overall thoughts about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.